All right, what um, did officers uh, commit a patent violation by entering the garage? All right, so that's not enough to give you context what's going on here, but first let me introduce myself. My name is Anthony Bandiero, attorney and senior legal instructor for Blue to Go Law Enforcement Training, bringing you the roadside chat from Addison, Texas. I'm teaching at the, the fire station, but the police department's across the street and they have a bigger training room here. So, um, so I am teaching Addison police officers. All right, so um, this question comes from an officer. I do not necessarily know where he's from, but let me read from the iPad. There are facts, there, there were, there's probable cause to arrest a, a subject for child abuse. He did, He was in his garage. He did not want to come out of the garage. So the cops are, let's imagine, on the driveway, talking to him while he's in the garage. But, you know, the, the cops really knew that he did not want the, he, the, the, the cops knew that the suspect did not want them in the garage okay so after talking for a while we you know the sergeant decides look let's just go hook this guy up and the way that we're gonna get in there is to use a ruse we're going to tell him hey can we at least get your a witness statement uh, you know I'm paraphrasing this part can we at least get your a witness statement from you so we have your side of the story I guess let's assume for argument's sake that he said yes right that yes I'll give you my statement but then the real intent is to go in there and arrest him. They arrest him and so forth. And um, are we good? Okay. I have I have some issues with this, and let's talk about some of the law. So the first thing is Peyton, right? Peyton is a Supreme Court case that basically says, look, the severity of the crime, in and of itself, does not allow a warrantless entry into a home to make the arrest. Peyton committed a homicide, murder, right? Two days prior. With that alone, with no exigency and no arrest warrant, the cops entered his home to arrest him. And the Supreme Court said that that was impermissible. I also want to talk to you about what, what I refer to as the known officer rule. The known officer rule basically says that when cops are known, right? We're not talking about undercover cops here, clearly. They have different rules for undercover cops. But when the suspect in their home knows that you're the police, badge, uniform, and so forth, they have a, a right to trust you, right? If you're asking for entry, you know, it's, they have a right to, to, that you're gonna, you're, you're gonna be on the up and up, that you're not trying to trick them so that you can come into their home because the home is the most protected area under the Fourth Amendment, right? And so um, the, the no officer rule basically says, hey, look, you should not be lying about your primary purpose to enter the home. If you are telling the person that you are there to take a witness statement, but your true primary purpose is to arrest him, that's problematic for the courts. Because it really, it, you know, it, 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 it eviscerates and it, you know, nullifies their, their consent, right? Because, you know, they're giving you consent to enter the home to take this witness statement, but your primary purpose is just to go, you know, hook them up, right? And they would never give you, cons they, they likely would not give you consent for hooking them up. So that's the problem there, right? So no, no officer rule. The final thing is uh, consent. The officer does talk about some other facts where the guy didn't specifically say, no, you couldn't enter the garage, right? So maybe he acquiesced into the entry. Well, that's possible. You can make that argument. But one thing that the courts li would like to see is something affirmative about why you're, you know, for the consent to enter a home. In other words, we've had some cases where cops will, will kind of make an impression like, hey, we're coming in and the guy will st uh, step to the side of the door and the cops enter. And then um, the cops will argue later that that was consent. Then the court was like, no, they're simply acquiescing to your show of authority, right? I mean, that kind of makes sense too. Like if a cop says to me, hey, we're coming in, I am allowed to presume that they have authority to do what they just said. And if I move to the side, it's simply me acquiescing to their presumed authority. I don't want any problems. I don't want to be arrested for obstruction. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want a gun put in my face, right? So that's what's going on there. Now let's apply Peyton, the known officer rule and consent, those little factors for consent to the fact pattern here. Are we good? Well, we know that probable cause alone for child abuse, for example, I don't care if it's a felony or misdemeanor, 
does not get you into that home, okay? Period. You need agency. What that, what kind of agency do you need? The person is, is a danger to himself or others. He will destroy evidence before you come back to the, for the warrant. He will escape before you get the warrant, right? Tell me those factors. But if you have like a vanilla, this is just a, an arrest, you know, there's, no, there's nothing gonna happen in the meantime, we can come back with the warrant, then you don't have exigency, you have a patent issue. Let's talk about the ruse. This was a ruse, right? Um, that the cops lied to him, they, they do not really want his witness statement. Now, if the cops say, but Anthony, I really, I kind of did want his witness statement. And okay, you know, that's, at least you have that. That's a, that's a good argument if the court believes that that was on the up and up and you were also gonna get his witness statement. You also happened to arrest him at the same time. Um, but you see where I'm going with this? A, a lot of courts would be like, but you ended up arresting him anyway. And you kind of indicate, you know, we heard you on body cam. I'm just making these facts up. We also heard you on body cam about, hey, let's put an arrest plan in place. See, are courts really gonna believe that line that you were just looking for a witness statement after you just had an, an you formed up an arrest team and you got the shield out, right? And maybe you got a beanbag shotgun. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's gonna buy that? You're not gonna, you know, who, who's gonna buy that? Nobody's gonna buy that. So I don't like it. And finally, the consent issue I told you, mere acquiescence to a claim of authority, if that was part of these facts, would not work as well. If I was on scene based off these very limited facts, I do not know the whole story. If I was a sergeant on scene, I would have told, I would have basically informed the occupant, hey, look, at this point, I have probable cause to arrest you. What I would like to do is get your cooperation and you know take you into custody because that's, you know, that, that's what that's what I want to do. If you say no, I am not going to enter your garage under these, right? I'm not gonna enter your garage. I'm gonna go seek a, I'm gonna go seek a search warrant. I'm sorry, an arrest warrant. And then I'll come back. If that's what you want me to do, you have that right. But I would like at least get your cooperation as you, otherwise uh, I'll be back with them. You know, I'll, I'm gonna seek a search warrant. If I get it, I'll be back with an arrest warrant. Um, now let's talk about the final thing before I leave here. It's a, you know, getting into seven minutes here. The final things, what's the consequences? Okay, Anthony, let's say the court agrees with you, right? The known officer rule is that issue. We use the, you know, the ruse. We don't have exigency. All right, are we gonna have the arrest thrown out? No. Payton really comes into evidence. If you would have gone into that garage and found evidence of something while in there in that this different vantage point or on his person, you would have found evidence on his person, that evidence would be tossed out. But the arrest stays in. I hope it helps. If you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, if you like what I'm doing here, comment, subscribe. Um, okay, until next time, stay safe.